Testing, testing, testing. Okay, I think that's working this time. Hello everyone, finally. And I just thought I'd make a brief update video just to update you guys on what was going on. Yeah, some pretty annoying things have happened lately. So a few weeks ago, I try and turn on my laptop, and it just won't turn on. I take it to a repair place, and it turns out the hard drive and the motherboard are both corrupted beyond repair. The laptop was about four and a half years old, so I kind of should have seen that coming, but really I'd hoped it would have lasted me a bit longer. So, yes. Not only that, but they said they might try to salvage the data? Turns out, they couldn't even do that. Apparently, they even went to the trouble of cloning the hard drive, and even the clone refused access. Yeah, even the clone was too corrupted to even be accessed, so... Short... Short story, I lost literally everything on my old computer. And the old computer itself. Now, the fact that I am recording this video means that I do indeed have a new computer now, so I guess it's as good an excuse as any for an upgrade. But, yeah, it is very annoying since I lost a whole lot of stuff. Now, you might be wondering what does this mean for what I was doing, what... Uh, what was on the channel. Thankfully, the vast majority of video series that I work on these days, I save all those files to external hard drives. So I didn't actually lose anything from anything that I'm currently working on. Thankfully. Pretty much anything that I lost was of stuff that I've already uh, long since completed. So, just an update. Uh, most of the software that I've been able to use for recording and a whole lot of other things on the channel, I've been able to install on this just fine. Now, the problem is, and you're already seeing it, this image might be slightly blurry, and if it's not, well, um, this thing still kind of works, but the record, the actual video processing software that I use, I was able to install it on this new computer just fine, but sometimes the images and videos get a little bit blurry when I drag them into the um, work area, so I think this one just might be a little bit not quite designed for Windows 8. Yes, I was forced to use Windows 8 for this. I don't like it, but I'm stuck with it. So, yeah, this seems to be alright for the time being, and if you can hear this, then my microphone still works, which is good. That still works, 3DS capture device, that works just fine, in fact, it was a good, as a, it was a good excuse to update the driver, it can now do audio capture straight over USB, which is pretty good. And my capture card works fine, the driver for that installed just fine. Fraps, now thankfully, I am actually very glad that this happens. If you've already bought Fraps once, you can actually log on again with your email address and password, and it'll let you download the full version for free again. So, thankfully, I did not need to purchase Fraps again. I was really worried that I would, but yeah, I don't. Which is very, very good. Now, as for what's on my hard drives. Now, something kind of interesting... All of my World Ends With You files that I pre-recorded a very long time ago are actually still on one of my hard drives, so I can continue that if I want, and I do plan on continuing that later this year. Now, as for Wind Waker, all my Wind Waker stuff is safely on a hard drive. However, this hard drive, for some reason, my new computer refuses to read it. Now, it does work on a lot of other computers, so what I might have to end up doing is get the files off of it on a different computer and stick them on a different hard drive that actually does work on my new computer, because that's very annoying. But rest assured, the Wind Waker files are safe, at least I think they're safe, and I will continue uploading that as soon as possible. Now, I actually do intend to do commentary on at least the Cave of Ordeals, because... I have a lot to say about that place, so you can look forward to that at least. Now, Age of Empires. Fortunately... Okay, there's good news and bad news about Age of Empires. I was actually desperately wanting to continue this around the time my laptop actually died, so... Yeah, I was thinking, hey, you know what, I better continue this series, and then my laptop dies on me, of course it does. But, there is good news and there is bad news regarding Age of Empires. The good news, since it was on Steam, the game itself and my save files are all pretty much intact. 
At least I'm actually pretty sure they're intact. In fact, uh, let me actually just go check for a minute. Okay, I've checked, and my recordings are indeed fine. And guess what? This is, in fact, the second time I've had to record this message, because, uh it might be time to get a new video processing software, because the normal method that I use to record voiceover on this new computer, occasionally when I click the stop recording button, it just flat out refuses to save the recording. Just bang, there, no recording for you. That is incredibly irritating. So, yeah, I may have to look into getting some other recording program soon, because this is just kind of, well, very, very irritating. But, anyway, my save files for Age of Empires 2 are indeed fine. So, I can actually continue that whenever I want. But now, the bad news. On my old computer, the files that were lost were all of the unit profiles for fact of the day that I had. Yeah, annoyingly, I forgot to back those up, and so I lost all of them. Yes, I did indeed prepare unit profiles for every single unit and technology in the game in advance. That took quite a while. It took about a week of solid working on that to actually get all those done. And because they're all gone, I am actually going to have to recreate those from scratch. So... Long story short, Age of Empires may be on hold for a while. I'm really sorry about that, it's just that I really liked those, and I want to keep those up, and I'm going to have to recreate them all from scratch. As for other projects, Wind Waker. Now, thankfully, all the files for Wind Waker are still on one of my hard drives. Um, thankfully, said hard drive for some reason refuses to be recognised by my new laptop. Now, this doesn't mean they're gone forever. I actually can use this on other computers, and I might actually have to do that, put those on a different USB hard drive that my computer does recognise. But for now, yeah, I can get them. They are safe, but still... So, Wind Waker will continue. I do plan on doing commentary on some of the parts later on, the Cave of Ordeals especially. I have a lot I want to say about that place, believe me. So look forward to that continuing. Also, look forward to some more uh, Pokemon matches that I'm going to be uploading quite soon. In fact, I recently did a tournament with, some, with a bunch of friends, and I'm going to upload matches from that. These were actually very, very interesting matches. It was quite a unique tournament, I'll just say, and some of my matches were some of the closest I have ever had, so look forward to those. Now, as for future projects, all of my files from The World Ends With You, they are still on one of my hard drives, so I can actually continue that, and I plan to continue that eventually. But, well, yeah, most of the things are safe, so that's actually pretty good. But one more thing that I want to say. Channel updates will hopefully come back just after a little bit once I get everything back on track. But for those of you who don't want to wait, I have in fact started a new project that's not actually on this channel. This project is on the Maryland forums, and I'm going to put a link to it in the description in case any of you guys want to come and look at it. I have, in fact, well, I sort of caved and started a wedlock challenge on Pokemon Leaf Green. Now, I know, I kept saying that I don't like Nuzlocks and Nuzlocke-style challenges. That is still a fact, but the thing is, I wanted to at least try one, just on a whim, just so I'm not blindly complaining about something that I haven't even tried myself. I wanted to, you know, there's only so much you can know from watching other videos, so I wanted to actually experience what it is like actually doing one yourself. And honestly, I've been kind of mixed on it. Now, try not to tell the people on the forum this, because they kind of like Nuzlocke challenges and seem to be huge fans of the way I'm doing mine. But, well, I like some of the features. I like the whole randomness as to what Pokemon you get. I really like that, not having control of your encounters. It makes every playthrough unique, and it makes things quite interesting when you're not always in control of what Pokemon you're actually using in the Wedlock Challenge even more so. However, I still don't really like death in a Pokemon game, and actually playing one for myself, I dislike it even less. It's really weird, and I probably won't want to go into my reasons for that just yet, I'll definitely explain this in the future, but for now, I'll just say that I kind of have the opposite reactions to death in Nuzlocke's that most people do. 
If anything, it makes me feel less attached to my Pokemon. It's actually kind of weird. I just don't like it, and there's a lot of reasons why I don't like it, but I'm not actually going to go and say that that now. For the time being, let's just say that I'm... Um, Okay, firstly, you'll want to know that um, I did lose all the files for that when my computer died, which means that I'm actually going to have to restart the challenge completely, so it's a good time to get into it. But I'm actually working that into the story, so kind of interesting. I've got a bit of a story going on in this one, and it proves to be kind of interesting. So if you want to see something else from me, go ahead and click the link in the description. So that's all from me. I desperately hope this recording saves this time. And if it does, and you're hearing this, well, I'll try and get channel updates back on track, and I hope to see you guys soon. For now, I'm signing off.